Yo, what is up guys? I'm Asian, and in this video, I will be testing if a bowling ball will float in water. This is from a comment of mine, I'll put it up right here. And a com they commented if a bowling ball will float depending on what the weight is. So I'm going to test that today. So let's move the camera up to the bin and let's get started. The camera right above the bin and you can see this is real water. And the bowling ball, this first bowling ball I'm going to use is called a spike, hammer spike. It's by hammer. Uh, it's pretty, it's a pretty old ball too. So I got this 11 pound and to test against it I have this Columbia 300 Patriot Sparkle Spare Ball Columbia 300. These are old bowling balls. This spike one is my brother's and then this one is an old spare ball of mine. So let's test out. Let's try the 14. Let's start bigger. Bigger is better. Alright, let's try out. Sunk like a rock. Sunk. Didn't even do anything. Alright, let's try this hammer ball. I think this one will do different because it is lighter. This is 11, I believe. 10 or 11. And this one down here is a 14. So let's try this one. Floats. It just bobs right there. It's not floating by a lot, maybe about 75% of it is about, 75% of it is in the water. So, it's floating but not a lot. So this 14 one does not float at all. Whoa. Putting your fingers in a ball when it's underwater feels weird. Feels weird because when you're putting your thumb in, you're pushing out all the excess water. <laughs> sink this one it just bobs right on top wait a second so the ball floats let's see if parts of a ball will float yeah let's let's try this core this is a Brunswick mastermind genius let's see if the core floats like a rock these pieces these pieces float old bowling ball right here. This is a, this was like my second or third bowling ball and it's broken. These pieces, Bob, see right here, mastermind genius. So these float and sink and all kinds of stuff. So this one just bobs right in the water. This one sunk, probably because this one is way heavier. So and I think these flow because it is part of a bowling ball, but it is super light. See, so if we were to put this on top, it would probably sink. Never mind. That pretty much does it. 11 pounds does float. It's just spinning. So, let's switch back to the main angle. And So, the 14 pound ball does sink, and the 11 pound just bobs right on top of the water and you know why this works because of science and I'm a professional uh, scientist I am a uh, bowling executive astronomer so I know I'm pretty sure I know what I'm talking about this is the core if you look at pictures of the mastermind this is not what it looks like but so that concludes this myth is busted so, that pretty much solves it. 11 pound bowling balls will float. Anything heavier will just sink like a rock. So, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out. I only call you when it's
boingy bobbing like an apple.